Hi everybody, it's May 20, 2018. California Appeals Court stated, ruled, made a decision. And yes, a lot of people are feeling it is a huge victory. Well, man, I hate to tell you that Americans are really we're just not thinking quite right. We spent years and years and years and years fighting just to get our food labeled, and we lost. Monsanto won. But just to get our food labeled, as GMOs were taking over our food supply, other people in other countries, well, they were fighting against genetically modified foods. We fought get our food labeled. And this huge win uh, really amounts to, let's go down here, it amounts to allowing state agencies the ability to use determinations made by foreign organizations as support in their decision-making process. We're still eating foods that are drenched with glyphosate. Um, in 2015, a 17-person scientific panel appointed by the International Oh, Agency for Research on Cancer, a division of the World Health Organization which focuses on researching the lifestyle and the environmental risk factors that contribute to cancer rates. They concluded that glyphosate was a probable carcinogen for humans. And Monsanto fought this lawsuit in California, allowing California, the state of California, to list glyphosate as a carcinogen. They fought them for years, and they finally lost in the appeals court. You know what else they lost, Monsanto? They also lost the lifting of a ban of dumping glyphosate into your public waterways. So that's happening all over the country. So now Californians, at least your state can list glyphosate as a carcinogen. Um, this is a huge win for all Californians and a huge loss for Monsanto as it upholds our right to protect ourselves and our environment from unnecessary and unwanted exposure to the dangerous chemical glyphosate. Glyphosate is still being used. This court just simply said state agencies you can use a foreign entity meaning the World Health Organization, that's a foreign entity. We can't use scientific studies coming out of the World Health Organization. We use the World Health Organization all the time. Oh, right. Okay, so what we are about is we can't use it if we don't get what we want. That's Monsanto. If the World Health Organization came out and said, glyphosate is not a carcinogen, then Monsanto would be using that in their arguments. But prior to 2015, many scientists concluded that glyphosate, a very dangerous chemical, a very dangerous chemical, that, well, saturates our food supply. I will link below to everything. Stephanie Seneff, Seneff uh, an MIT scientist who has done studies on glyphosate, has 
openly talked about how dangerous gly glyphosate is. And it's not just that it is a carcinogen, causes birth defects, causes, and she found a possible link to autism, autoimmune diseases, glyphosate is, uh, look, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what to do anymore. We have industry funding scientific studies. And those scientists come out with findings that are in favor of the industry. I think most Americans know this. Independent scientists, well, their findings seem to be opposite of those findings, those scientists who are funded by the industry. Monsanto has their own scientists and they put out an awful lot of sci uh, studies that prove glyphosate, um, glyphosate is safe and we're going to believe Monsanto. But this goes on. on and on and on and on. We, we are not right. I'm sorry. We're, we're just not right. Glyphosate found in childhood vaccines. What is glyphosate doing in childhood vaccines? Okay. Glyphosate is poisoning. So it is not just that it causes cancer, it causes obesity, and causes an awful lot of problems within our body. Alarming levels of glyphosate contamination found in popular American foods. Our food is saturated with glyphosate. Are, are we fighting to end the spraying of, whoa, what is it, 270 million pounds annually? They have been using Roundup glyphosate since 1974. Spraying 270 million pounds annual on our foods. We eat poisonous foods. A scientist from the EPA, a letter, heartbreaking letter, from dying EPA scientists, begs Monsanto moles inside the agency to stop lying about dangers of Roundup. I'm not going to read the letter, but click on the link below, and it is right down here. Letter from Marion Copley to Jess Rowland. Here are some highlights. EPA scientist Marion Copley begs Monsanto model Jess Rowland to do his job and protect the public rather than protecting Monsanto's profit interests, saying, for once in your life, listen to me and don't play your political conniving games with the science in favor, to favor the registrants. For once, do the right thing and don't make decisions based on how it affects your bonus. Well, we've got a lot of Americans doing that. But Copley also accused Roland and another EPA scientist, Anna Lowitt, and still with the EPA, I don't know if she's still there as of today, May 20, 2018. This was posted March 15, 2017. But Lowett and Roland engaging in science intimidation tactics to force EPA scientists and bureaucrats to change their conclusions in favor of Monsanto. You and Anna Lowett 
intimidated staff on a particular committee to change the final report in favor of Monsanto. Copley further warns the EPA scientists are likely being bribed by Monsanto saying your Nebraska colleague took industry funding. He clearly has a conflict of interest. Just promise me not to ever let Anna on this committee studying the effects of glyphosate. Uh, don't let her on the committee. Her decision doesn't make rational sense. If anyone in OPP is taking bribes, it is her. And Marion Copley signs off with a plea for humanity, knowing that she is nearing death, but wanting to help save humanity from the toxic chemical holocaust being pushed by Monsanto and a criminal EPA. I have cancer, and I don't want these serious issues in med to go unaddressed before I go to my grave. I have done my duty. Oh, wow. That was five years ago. We're still eating glyphosate. Oh, but Congress has been on it, and they've been holding hearings under fire from U.S. politicians. World Health Organization defends its claim that an herbicide causes cancer. Wait a second. Okay, uh, you had those top scientists at the World Health Organization studying the effects of glyphosate. They found that it is a probable carcinogen, and we have our politicians fighting that science. Wow, cool. Aren't they there to protect us and not Monsanto? Oh, don't be so naive. the International Agency for Research on Cancer unwavering stance. When did they find this out? 2015. 2015 was their glyphosate evaluation. Then our Congress holds hearings to push back on that finding. What, what is going on? Well, what's going on is our congressional representatives represent corporations. Get it through your head, my fellow Americans, and stop being little children voting, paying your taxes pretending like you have a government there that's protecting you. It is not protecting you. It is killing you. Representative Frank Lucas, Republican of Oklahoma. This kind of shoddy work is unacceptable from any scientific body, let alone one funded by the American taxpayer. Oh, yeah. It slammed the IARC for evaluating the carcinogenic potential of chemicals but not determining the dose at which they could cause cancer. Okay. If that is the case, then I would say that the IARC is just yet another body uh, to do that mm, uh, can't think of the word, but industry, Monsanto, have so much money that they can actually influence both sides to keep the debate going. So Americans actually feel like something's being done while nothing's being done. You're just being conned into believing that something's being done. But because independent scientists 
have already done the work to find out that we have a major problem with this pesticide alone. But wow, do we have an awful lot of pesticides being used all over. But why is our EPA allowing higher levels of glyphosate? Well, the EPA claims that it's safe. But why has it allowed higher levels of this pesticide that independent scientists have found that it's not safe? Why does the EPA continue to allow industry more and more pesticides to saturate our foods? When we all know that, okay, let's talk about that dose, right? The dose. Shoddy work. Those scientists didn't even study dose. So the EPA just raises the level and allows you to eat more. Oh, a higher dose. And yes, oh, the EPA and the FDA, they're working on it, don't worry. They don't ever use the precautionary principle, hey, let's pull back on all of this pesticide use because, well, independent studies have shown that it's dangerous. So let's, let's uh, at least not raise the level of pesticides being sprayed on food until we actually find out if it's dangerous or not. Yeah, so our federal agencies like the FDA, they're going to test it again. June 2017, FDA resumes testing foods for weed killer. Safety questions grow. Hmm. And they're just going to continue to grow. And they're going, they'll continue to have this fight. Maybe Congress will hold more hearings, but nothing ever comes of it. The EPA continues to allow the spraying of our foods with toxic chemicals, and we eat them. And they just do the testing. to maintain that delusion. We're on it, Americans, don't worry. Well, guess what? You are eating chemical-drenched foods. That's right. Chemical-drenched foods. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, National Residue Program, they don't even test for glyphosate residues. Oh, but that's one of their jobs. And yet, glyphosate has been detected in blood, breast milk, and urine samples. U.S. women had maximum glyphosate levels that were more than eight times higher than levels found in urine of Europeans. Hmm. The Alliance for Natural Health conducted its own research and they found our food system has been saturated with glyphosate, reaching even into some organic products. The majority of the glyphosate was found at levels below the Environmental Protection Agency's proposed allowable daily intake, but, well, our federal guidelines are a sham. I'm sorry, your EPA has been bought and sold, your FDA bought and sold, Monsanto, Big Pharma. It's a disgrace. Uh, the guidelines are put out there for you to maintain that delusion that your government is keeping you safe in it, and that's not what is taking place. EPA's um, allowable daily intake for glyphosate is nearly six times higher than the EU's uh, European Union 
and fails to take into account recent evidence of carcinogenesis. Did I pronounce that right? Uh, toxicity of adjuvants in glyphosate formulations, the very wide distribution of glyphosate in food and water. And the U.S. Food and Drug Administration announced in February 2016 that it would begin testing foods such as corn and soybean for glyphosate which may help to quantify just how much glyphosate Americans are consuming. Current allowable limits may be set far too high to protect our health, so unless that is revised, consumers may be lulled into a false sense of security if the tests come back within allowable limits. If Americans could just get that there government officials, their agencies are so fully corrupt now that they are not working for the American people. Oh, but yeah, they consider you to be schmucks because you pay these agencies to do all of that fabulous testing. Hey, good. Finally, a hearing. Hey, the FDA. Testing. Good. Well, they're resuming their testing. I guess they, oh, that was in 2016. Uh, 2016, they were going to start testing. I guess they stopped and in 2017. They were going to resume the testing. But you're still eating it. Getting sick. Giving it to your children. They getting sick. All right, here you go. How to wash vegetables and fruits to remove pesticides. Um, the I'm not going to read the whole article, and I'm sure you're glad for that. But um, we we it's not just glyphosate, but it's so many pesticides. And Trump, he's allowed the corporate consolidation of Monsanto and Bayer. So, that is not good for the American people. And Trump, well, he's a corporate guy. Oh, yeah. You can now make a whole lot of money good. But it's very dangerous. These monopolies, we used to break up monopolies. Now our presidents and our government officials, they uh, applaud monopolies. So this article is about how to wash the pesticides, glyphosate, off your foods, your produce. Um, yes, just glyphosate alone, cancer and diabetes. Neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and ALS, birth defects, reproductive disorders, asthma, COPD, Oh, and much more. They have several different methods. And apparently, scientists using different uh, products or ingredients to wash produce, to take off specific pesticides, I didn't know that these studies were being done. Um, but Stanford University, which analyzed 17 different studies comparing the health effects of organic and conventional foods. All right, that's not about the studies for using particular products to clean your... I can't believe we're living this. This is so... Our food. 
has been destroyed. The only possible way that you can eat healthy food or the healthiest, the healthiest would be foods grown in an airtight greenhouse. Then second to that would be a real organic farm producing foods locally locally because organic foods that are not local and shipped to your local supermarkets are not necessarily organic they I've posted videos on this they organic farmers are using pesticides that are not organic pesticides organic foods, organic fruits, organic produce shipped by truck across state they're sprayed when they get into that truck they're sprayed with preservatives I wish that we could <laughs> have organic farmers in each state where we didn't have to rely on supermarkets and all right the contaminated produce is strawberries, spinach, nectarines, apples, grapes, peaches, cherries, pears, tomatoes, celery, sweet bell, peppers, hot peppers. The least contam though that's the most contaminated the least contaminated avocado, sweet corn, pineapples, cabbage. Though your cabbage could be fake. <laughs> I posted a video on that. Onions, sweet peas, frozen. Though those sweet peas could also not be real peas. And you really have to watch out for foods imported from China. Although uh, we allow those imports and we may inspect from those foods coming from China I don't know 1.3 percent of the foods coming from China all the rest just go right into supermarkets and we buy them and they're not labeled from China so you don't know and guess what a lot of organic foods coming from China well you can bet that it's not organic but the other least contaminated are papayas, asparagus, mangoes, eggplant, honeydew melon, kiwi, cantaloupe, cauliflower, broccoli. Um, how to wash. Okay. Salt water and vinegar. Researchers washed vegetables for 20 minutes in vinegar and a salt water solution and they found that it eliminated the residue of four common pesticides and you can see them DDT D -D -T, D -D -T. eating DDT great so it's 10 percent salt water solution and the vinegar was far better than washing with plain water Full strength vinegar was found to be equally as effective, but using vinegar would get quite expensive and would leave foods with an unwelcome vinegary flavor, making it less than ideal for daily vegetable wash. Okay, baking soda solution was found to be the most effective at removing pesticide residue, both on the surface and beneath the skin of apples. A mix of only one ounce of baking soda mixed with 100 ounces of water. And it took 12 to 15 minutes of soaking to completely remove the pesticides. I don't know how much they are removed though because the pesticides, it's not just on the skin. It leaches into the produce. But better to get as much of it off as you can.
Uh, for leafy greens, fill a salad spinner with greens, then fill with water. Add a teaspoon of baking soda and mix well. And soak your greens for a minute. Swish, dump, then rinse and spin dry. If you don't have a salad spinner, you can add the greens, water, and baking soda to a bowl. Let them soak, drain in a strainer, rinse, then pat dry with a clean, uh, clean lint-free kitchen towel or paper towels. You can figure out by reading this article how to clean mushrooms, other veggies, how to wash fruits. This is what we're living. This is what we have to do. All links are below.